You just showed up here and built a whole city, bro. This is incredible. Where do I even begin? A few months ago, I uploaded a little showcase of a beautiful Earth-like paradise planet, and I encouraged everyone who wanted to, to settle on it. Little did I know that Broladice is now populated with dozens of bases. I had no idea my viewers were such talented builders. We even have a city on this planet. If you want to join this growing colony, make sure to stick around because I'm going to be sharing the glyphs on this video as well. Let's start first with this base right here, Dos Cervezas, built by DW Titan. From the landing pad, we're greeted with a passageway into the lobby, lit nicely by the setting sun. I need to point out this beautiful lighting work, both on the perimeter as well as the main ceiling. It has my electrician seal of approval. As we descend into the main gathering area, the air fills with the sounds of Titan's bite beat machines. Under the specialist offices, we see a well-placed room of farms, and other amenities include a very spacious glass garage for parking as well as summoning your vehicles, a full service bar and accompanying lounge area near a fireplace. This can be rented out for casual business meetings and a dance floor with custom music, an indoor garden, a storage basement, a large marine observatory accessible by instant teleport with easy submarine access and four landing pads total. Overall, a very beautiful base on a lovely tropical island. Great work DW Titan and thank you so much for settling in the Nolo Nova system. Next up, I visited a base named MB Galaxy Paradise, constructed by Shady X. What this base lacks in amenities, it makes up for in its wild location. Shady really saw one of these giant stone buttes and was like, yep, that's the place I want to build on. I'll tell you one thing, the vistas up here are nothing short of spectacular. The design of this base, even though it's gravity defying, it's striking and I love it. Just don't look down. Amenities include a central power station with a teleporter, a convenient landing pad, and not one, but two flaming trash cans. I'm sure Shady has more planned for this structure. Great work and welcome to the bullet dice. Are you considering moving to this planet? Not only do we have beautiful green forests and turquoise oceans teeming with life, we also have sharp earth-like mountain ranges, unlike any I've seen in the galaxy, and canyons all over the surface, creating river areas in many places. And we also have striking stone pillars, including the elusive donut pillars. Don't wait, get your own slice of Brola dice today. Next up on our tour is a Festo colony built by Helios. Although it's not yet furnished, this base is beautiful in design. It's fully solar powered with satellite television and internet service. The bridge going out to sea reminds me of something. You could drive down this bridge like I did, or you could use the convenient teleports to the marine part of the base. Minimalistic, but spacious and well designed. I really like what you've done here Helios. Thank you for adding to the beauty of this beautiful paradise. For our fourth entry, we have the smallest base of the tour, but it's still well put together. Thank you for this nice base. I want to comment on your great choice of settlement as well because it's on this beautiful cliffside. Great view. I won't share the username or the base name here because the owner left a message module saying go away. So I'm sure he doesn't want any visitors right now. The sunset I witnessed while sitting on the roof of this base was nothing short of breathtaking. And now for the grandest and most ambitious build on this whole planet. I want to welcome you to the city base QG Riverside by Oliver. Bro, you just showed up here and built a whole ass city, bro. This is incredible. Where do I even begin? The location is perfect at the mouth of a river delta. The landing dock is so well crafted and chock full of detail, the Exocraft Pavilion, beautiful stone construction, and the main building is not only geometrically interesting floor plan wise, the thing is fully furnished and lived in. I can only imagine how much effort this took. Oliver, this is exceptional. Thank you so much. This city of a base has individual homes for each of the specialists that he employs, furnished and personalized for each worker. For example, the armor has extra weapon racks, the mechanics home is decorated with vehicle themes. Bro, you even provided a teleporter for the farmer to get instant access to his farming building. The attention to detail here is incredible. For infrastructure, he not only built a storage building, but also a well-hidden power plant center with a beautiful facade. And adjacent to this power station is another similar building that has a character customizer as well as a message module, which for some reason did not load the message for me. This city here is awesome. It's a beautiful asset to the already talented pool of builders who have settled here. I am honored to have such dedicated and talented viewers. Thank you, Oliver, for settling on Planet Brolodice. And again, great work. I also noticed that I didn't even explore the river part of the base. 
I got distracted by some civilians fighting a pirate in the sky. But I challenge you, viewer, to visit this place yourself and check out what amazing details there are and try to find a way into that river section. Do you want to live on this beautiful planet and join this ever-growing community? The glyphs are on screen right now. Do keep in mind that this is in the Isentum galaxy. You could piggyback off of a featured base at the anomaly or a player there. Or what if I told you that I have a fast method to get to as many galaxies as you like with only one portal glyph. That method is on the screen right now.